Ladies and gentlemen, we will interrupt all programs to give you latest news bulletins. Stay tuned to this station. Here comes the big bandwagon. Laugh a while, let a song be your side, you sit and fool. Don't despair, use your head, save your hair, you sit and Yes, there once again is a musical greeting that welcomes you to another gay ride with a Fitch bandwagon. Brought to you for the makers of the famous Fitch's dandruff remover shampoo and ideal hair tonic. Again, we bring you one of America's great dance bands and that man who knows his band, Toby Reed. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor Dolphin. Hello, everybody. Well, folks, a trip all the way out to Hollywood just wouldn't be complete without giving you some of that product for which Hollywood is so superlatively famous. Of course, I mean that glamour, that truly top-notch entertainment. You know, our guest tonight has a lot of personality, and his band just can't be beat for sheer entertainment quality. But now, you don't have to take my word for that. Listen to this. I like that build-up well, I just handed uh, you. Toby, don't you think you went just a little overboard in all that praise? Oh, uh, not at all. Don't you realize that Horace, Height, and Hollywood all start with the same letter? Yes, but you realize that also starting with the same letter H is a kind of meat that comes sugar-cured from Virginia? <laughs> well, that joke's good on whole wheat toast. Mighty subtle, Horace. You know, it stops me cold. And while we're stopped, let's listen to your arrangement of the piano concerto in B-flat. You know, we've heard it a lot of times, featuring piano, but never have we had an opportunity of hearing it arranged for the famous Horace Height triple tonguing trumpeteer. <laughs> Grazing quietly in the distance, a 
and we hear a whistle as the sheep dogs are called home. And who is that whistle? Right on schedule by Fred Lowry, of course. And now we see the shepherd, who's none other than Larry Cotton. So it's really no wonder Horace Height made the tune famous, Shepherd's Serenade. I heard a lonely shepherd play.
Circus the other day, I read about some of the problems that Ringling Brothers Circus faced when they're out on the road. And I can't help but think that with your company of 30 performers, you've got a lot in common. You know, it takes four tons of food every day just to feed that Ringling outfit. That's nothing. Red Farrington alone equals that food bill. <laughs> Or as how in the world do you take care of the million and one details that must crop up when you're traveling on the road? Well, we're set up like a small town with administration duties divided among the various members of our organization. Oh, wait a minute. You mean you have a mayor, a clerk, police force, and all that sort of thing? That's the idea. For example, there's a librarian to take care of our music, a station master to take care of our railroad tickets, and a treasurer to more or less distribute the paychecks. Well, who gives out those paychecks? I do. And who are you? <laughs> and that gives you a rough idea of how the boys get paid. I see what you mean now. Well, tell me, who's the mayor of your city government, Horace? I am the little flower of Hypeville. <laughs> yeah, with a name like Horse, it was only natural we should choose him as our mayor. <laughs> oh, that's brutal, Horace. You know, there ought to be a law in Hypeville against jokes like that. Why don't you call a cop? Yes, Toby. Red Farrington is the cop. If you don't believe it, look at those feet. I can't see anything else. <laughs> anything. Anyway, you see, that gives us an idea how we put efficiency into the running of our organization. A well, man with such ideas, no wonder you have the whole music business constantly talking about you. And the latest stunts you're doing. You know, here's something else for everybody to talk about. And I mean the piano artistry of Frankie Carl and a Frank DeVoe adaptation of the familiar Turkish mark by Mozart. That was recently recorded, incidentally, by Horace Hyde under the banner of Carl Meet Mozart. I've been thinking it over, and it seems to me you've become identified with more unique ideas than any other band leader in the business. Well, man, you're the one that gave America a sweeter swing, answers by the dancers, the pot of gold, and now the treasure chest. Well, thanks, Toby, but you on the fixed bandwagon have come up with a mighty swell idea yourself. Now, you wouldn't be referring to the fixed bandwagon special, would you? None other. It's a great stunt and right down our alley. All right, Horace, if you'll give us a fanfare, suppose we have Dresser Dolph said, tell our listeners just exactly how the old fixed bandwagon special works. Yes, the Fitch Bandwagon Special is a great idea because it brings you the very latest, the newest, monogrammed music of your guests here on the bandwagon. For you see, each week, the big-name band which comes to you in person also makes a very special recording of a swell hit tune done in its own characteristic manner. And then, yes, right here on this program, the band plays the number in person for the first time, exactly as it has been recorded by them a day or two ago. 
Now, tomorrow morning at Columbia Record Dealers throughout the country, you will be able to obtain this same Fitch Fan Wagon special which you are about to hear. It will be the identical twin of this great song played in a personalized Horace Height manner and recorded by Columbia. Well, that tells the whole story, Dresser, and mighty well. And now that the folks know exactly how to start a fine collection of their favorite orchestra recordings, well, all that's left is for Horace Height to give a downbeat, and we're off with this week's special. Horace Height, the musical night, featuring the voices of Charlie Goodman with Donna and the Don Juan, and I'll never forget. Remove dandruff the first time you use it will never remove dandruff. 
Then remember the famous Fit Guarantee. Yes, for gloriously beautiful hair, use Fit Shampoo regularly each week. Fitches, spelled F-I-T-C-H, is guaranteed to remove dandruff with the first application. I don't believe there's any more personal musical organization in the business than your orchestra. You know, folks, in addition to straight dance music, Horace offers star musicians, a whistler, a half dozen singers, comedians, an impersonator, radio announcer. Well, with such an array of talent, it's little wonder that Horace and his boys have become famous for such musical features as their song stories. Now, tonight they want to give you their version of Jonah and the Whale. Horace? interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin. Washington, the War Department gave the White House a preliminary estimate of 104 dead and more than 300 wounded tonight in the Army forces alone as a result of Japan's bombing of the island of Oahu. Neither figure included civilian casualties in the raid on Oahu, the principal island in the Hawaiian group. We return you now to Hollywood. Yes. Going out to sea in two messy towels, the three little fishes who said, <laughs> The fishes said, Look out, Jonah, here comes a whale. And there under the boat was a big whale, all covered with scales. Scales, do the whales have a union? I thought it was just musicians. Just then, a log gave a whale and washed Jonah right into the whale's mouth. And that, my friends, was the world's first mouthwash. And even my best friends wouldn't tell me. <laughs> well, sir, there was Jonah in the tummy of the whale. It was dark as pit. He lit a cigarette. He's on fire All of a sudden, the whale screamed. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? Set the world on fire, and Jonah answered, I just want to stop complaining your heart. Of course, for heartburn, the whale should have taken a tub. <laughs> but he didn't know about that. He got mad, decided to choose Jonah, so he said to him, Thank you, sir. I am the dad who knows to shoot you. But he was equal to the occasion because what did he have with him but a bottle of famous pictures shampoo? It's forever making bubbles. Well, sir, Jonah emptied the bottle of pictures inside the whale, and that did the trick. It shot him forward right out through the top of the whale. <laughs> of course, everyone knows pictures will wash you in the head, so the moral of this story is. <laughs> Believe me, that was really swell, Horace. No fooling, the program wouldn't have been complete without that. <laughs> but right now, you know, there's another type of Horace Hyde entertainment that we have to have before we can say that our visit has really been complete. So how about one of those big Horace Heights feature arrangements? I can see that you want to put the whole gang to work at once, Toby. Well, we've got one here entitled Zekel Saw the Wheel. How do you think that would be? Uh, I think it's fine. You know, the reason we like them is the fact that not every orchestra has 30 performers and the ability to turn out one on a really big scale. So we're ready and waiting for your concert arrangement of Ezekiel Saw the Wheel. Ezekiel Saw the Wheel, way up in the middle of the air. Ezekiel Saw the Wheel, way in the middle of the air. The big wheel run by faith. God wheel within a wheel, way in the middle of the air. Wheel, 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 wheel in the middle of the air. Wheel, 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 wheel in the middle of the air. Wheel, 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 wheel in the middle 
up yonder on the mountain top. Wheel in the middle of the wheel. My Lord, he spoke and the chariot stopped. Wheel in the middle of the wheel. Rolling, 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 turning, 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 turning. Sailing, 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 round, 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 round. He's rolling, 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 way up in the middle of the air. Turning, 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 way in the middle of the air. Network of the National Broadcasting Company. 